Something interesting happened within the last 48 hours at this point. I'm sure by now you've all heard of an app called TikTok, which is basically just the modern day Vine with more features, but it's like the same thing. I thought it was a dumb idea and I didn't think I was gonna download TikTok because you know, what's the point? Vine came and went, it was a good time. So, you know, I, I did what I knew I was gonna do from the beginning and I downloaded TikTok. And I posted a couple of random videos, you know, a couple of duets. Uh, I, po I remade an old video that I made on Vine a while ago and it's just as cringy as ever, but I think it's, I think it's a lot more fun now, especially with the Undertale music. You tell me. Uh, there's a story behind that, but maybe for another time. Uh, but then I uploaded a TikTok, a video, uh, about a glow sticking concept that I came up with randomly. And when I did, I had, at the time when I hit upload, I had four followers and then I went to bed. Uh, and then I woke up the next morning to damn near 400 followers. And then later in the day, we'd hit a thousand followers and then 2000 followers. By that evening, we were up to about 5,000 followers. Just completely blowing up random, crazy. This is the video that I posted. Glow sticking concept. So you have orbitals, right? Pretty easy. Uh, and then you have anti-spin flowers, which mine are rusty. How about we combine the two? Kind of something like that. And now, as you can see, we're sitting at 9,094 followers, and that video has been viewed 1.3 million times. Now I know a lot of those are probably bots, but the comment section on it is glorious, and that's what I'm making this video about. The comments. First of all, this is like the first viral thing that I've ever been a part of, so it's super crazy, super fun. Um, but the comment section, the comment section is a mix of awesome, uh, like awesome comments, uh, Doctor Strange comments, people calling me Tyler Ninja Blevins, which I wasn't really familiar with until I uploaded this. Like I knew who Ninja was, he's the Fortnite guy, but like I didn't know what he looked like or anything. And then I saw a picture of him, I'm like, holy shit. And the funny part about it is that my name is actually Tyler. So it's just, I don't know, it's just really, really funny. It's like on the alternate timeline ninja, right? Where he didn't get famous for Fortnite and just got fat. <laughs> but the comment section also has its share of hate, like hater comments, you know, like, oh, haters. And some of them are just choice. And you'll see, I, I've seen a bunch of them and I've, I've hit, I, I, I liked a lot of the comments that I thought were just hilarious, but I wanted to share some of them with you. Um, like the like the top voted comment is this the nerdiest coolest coolest thing I've ever seen? Please teach us. So I, I did. I uploaded a couple of uh, tutorials. Um, but no, we gotta find some really good one. The Overwatch shirt really ties this together. Do you have <laughs> do you have other skills like requiring a job? Yes, I am a full time healthcare IT analyst, and uh, moving up hopefully soon. My man said pretty easy. No, not pretty easy. You're a god. I'll say this, uh, Bray Dog Bitch, I think that's where you're going with that. Um, the orbital is actually very, very easy. It's kind of like one of those things that's hard to learn, but once you've learned it, it's really hard to mess up. Um, and like all things, it takes practice. Uh, guy still at the rave from 20 years ago. Never been to a rave. Oh, I didn't see the one above it. So 40 or 16, yes. <laughs> Mom said dinner's ready, come up from the basement. The part that kills me is in the back, like I know it's a joke, but the part, uh, I have the, you know, uh, lofted ceilings and uh, the cathedral ceilings. So it's like, I think I ended up responding to that one. And I was like, uh, I was like, dude, come on. I, I live in the attic. I appreciate the talent, but you scream I live in my parents' basement and I'm 30, sorry, bro. You're half right, I'm 30. <laughs> And that's basically how I'll protect you, m'lady. I don't have a brim. M'lady. <laughs> I'm 100% positive that your parents did not teach you this skill. You're correct. 
However, my parents were very supportive while I was doing it, even if they didn't fully understand it. So shout out to my parents for being supportive, uh, despite me being eccentric. You should have been there for the Area 51 raid. How do you know I wasn't? Hmm? So this is what it's like to have no life. Basically, yeah. <laughs> me pretending I'm a superhero in my room. <laughs> and then we get some ones like this. Uh, if the Overwatch shirt doesn't get them wet, the glow sticks will. <laughs> no hate, but I think that's because he's the only thing he's good at. You're not wrong. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many comments like this there were where he he would be he would be wearing an Overwatch shirt. He would be. Can you believe it? I watched the video and knew immediately he played Overwatch. I cannot believe how many comments like that there was. Way too much time spent at raves, never been to one. Looks like some Doctor Strange work. Tell no one. <laughs> this has the same energy as a Kyle or Naruto runner. Name's Tyler, so close to Kyle. I do drink Monster, though, occasionally. Um, and I've done the Naruto run in the past. I'm... Not ashamed to admit. This is like middle school, whatever. I don't think I've ever been this turned on. Okay. <laughs> Dieting concepts, anti-McDonald's and Mountain Dew. How about you combine the two? <laughs> I, I didn't see this one before. Dieting concepts, anti-McDonald's and Mountain Dew. How about you combine the two? I'm actually gonna respond to this one. I've actually cut soda out completely, almost completely. Bro, the I have the power of God in anime on my side kid is all grown up. Yeah, like, like the Overwatch shirt really ties this together. But the one above it, I got a ton of these comments too. Bro, chill out, my girl is on the app. I can't, I can't stop. Once I've started, there is no stopping. It's just, that's how, it's the end, that's how it's gonna be. Sorry, not sorry, a little sorry. <laughs> You messing with my truck? I think he's referring to this vine. Uh-uh, hold up. You messing with my truck? You messing with my truck, dipstick? I feel my virginity returning. Well, I mean, it's unfortunate, man. Uh, I just get the vibe that the shower don't work in this house. Dude, I shower twice a day, so I know it's way, I know it's entirely too much, but um, I do twice a day because, like, I don't know, I can't stand like being sweaty or dirty, which is why I work inside on computers because I don't know, I just, I don't, I don't like getting dirty. Like even now, like I know I'm not like super scruffy, but it's to a point where I'm thinking to myself, I really need to shower, even though I just showered a couple hours ago. I, I, okay, so I like, I like this comment, like combo. This hella cool, but you make it seem nerdy. And then two comments below it, the orbital is a green Rasengan. I make it nerdy? Dude, because of the Overwatch shirt and the gaming stuff, I make it nerdy. Green Rasengan? Me. I mean, I do, but like, that guy took it. Dummy stupid Anthony took it, you know, way. I didn't know this was a thing. My one question is how do you decide that this is your hobby? Honestly, hobbies should be something that you enjoy doing. Hobbies should be something that you have fun with. They don't necessarily need to be useful. Hobbies don't necessarily need to be productive. They don't need to be anything other than something that you enjoy doing. So um, when I, I saw a video back in like 2009 on YouTube, it was, I, th I think I can actually still find it. Uh, so I saw this video and I was like, dude, that's, that's fucking awesome. I want to do that. And then I just, I went to Walmart, bought some sticks and some shoelaces and just off I went. Ninja, when did you get so fat? I mean, didn't you get a haircut? Dude, don't cut around. Don't, you don't have to beat around the bush. Don't sugarcoat it, all right? I got fat. I'm not Ninja, but you know, close enough, right? Just take my girlfriend already, Jesus. Dude, all right, as long as my fiance is okay keeping another girlfriend in the house, just, you know, I didn't expect him to be the life of the party, then boom. 
immediate disappointment. <laughs> what day of the month does your mom make you pay rent? Uh, well, so, <laughs> even, even like two years ago, I was living in a house that my mom had bought. She, like, she had a second house that she was renting out to people, and then my fiance and I decided that we were, so, we were living in this apartment complex. We said, hey, fuck it, we wanted a house. So we rented a property from my mom. So technically, I was paying my mom rent and it was due on the first. But then rent got a little too high just because of how property taxes or whatever was happening around here. And then we ended up moving back to the apartment complex. Uh, still the first of the month though. You don't want to go any later than the fifth because then you start getting late charges. I just, if you, if you're asking for you, Get it in by the first, you'll be fine. Save some girls for the rest of us. No. Uh, <laughs> uncommon talents, please don't take my girl. Wait, this is lit? Why have I never seen anyone do this before? Because it was done more so back in like the early 2000s. Um, even like the late 90s, I guess. You might never get a girlfriend. Not really in the market for one. Have a fiance though. I know I've said that several times. Figured I may as well just address you directly. My fiance might have a problem if I get a girlfriend. So, pretty easy. Hits myself in the eye. I hit myself in the dick more than I care to talk about. I lost count. I probably can't have kids, which is fine. <laughs> and you have no girlfriend. I, I, have, I have the one after that. We know he touches kids. You know, like high five. Give, give a kid a high five or like a fist bump. Um, that's basically it though. <laughs> this oozes JonTron energy. JonTron, I'm calling you out, bud. I wanna see you do some glow sticking. Somebody somebody send this to JonTron. Tag JonTron. You, you, you're an inspiration to me. I'm, I'm not nearly as, as funny as you, but you know, you can make up for it by trying to, I need a, this. It's cool, but it's nerdy, and someone who lives in their mom's basement probably does this. Probably. I'm not, I didn't invent this. This isn't like something I came up with. I'm sure someone living in their parents' basement at one point probably did something like this. Not me though. Well, I started learning when I was in college, and I was living at my mom's house. It wasn't in their basement though. It was outside. So I did, okay, I did it on my mom's property when I was learning, okay? Jesus. Oh, and here's like all of my responses. I've responded to so many of these just cause it's like, some of, some of the comments are so funny, dude. I can't, Heather's like, Heather's like, you know, don't give, don't give them, don't feed them. Don't feed the trolls, you know, don't, don't respond to them. That's what they're, they're trying to get under your skin. But I'm like, dude. This is not getting under my skin at all. This is hilarious to me. And what kills me is that like, when I first, like when I when I started making YouTube videos and putting my content out there, right? Um, even way back in like 2007, when it was, we have no shame productions and all that shit. Um, I was always like, a part of me was always worried that the hate comments, like negative, just bullshit hate comments were gonna get to me in some way. But, and I mean, these aren't really like hate comments. Some of them are, some of them are, you know, some of them are, I don't forget a girlfriend who lived in mom's basement. Yada, 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 cookie cutter bullshit. Um, but like, I never expected this to be the thing that goes viral because it hasn't even been 48 hours yet. Right now, at this very moment, it's 12.51. So, okay, so it's been a little, little over, uh, 48 hours because I posted it at 12:30 a.m. two days ago, and this it just blew up. It's crazy. I've never had to like mute my phone or an app because of all the notifications coming into my life. I know that's not a big surprise to some people, but um, this having blown up in the way that it did is huge for me. Someone like me, right? Um, and like when something blows up like that naturally there's gonna be a lot of like dumb hate comments, right? And like one of the big things you hear other YouTubers say is don't read the comments. Do yourself a favor, don't read the comments. This shit's fucking hilarious. I, I, like, I don't know when I got to a point, like I've, I've evolved to a point, and please don't take this as a challenge. Fuck, why did I say that? It's gotten to a point where like 
the hate comments are almost laughable. You know, like, there's a few there that I'm just kind of like, yeah, all right. <laughs> but none of them has been really like, ooh, ow. Like, like the one on screen now. Way, way too much time on your hands. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that hurt. Oh, <laughs> we're in the one below it. How about you get a job? Skull, skull. I have a job, skull, skull. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like... <laughs> Oh, man. Nani? Can you do this when you meet my parents? <laughs> Dude, I've never... I have not seen this comment yet. Can you do this when you meet my parents? Well... I can't pronounce your name. That is very direct. Um... Sure? Can you do this when you meet my parents? Who gave you the right to be this cool? <laughs> Did this ever get you laid? I'm guessing not. Okay, this is gonna be the last comment. But did glow sticking ever get me laid? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Glow sticking brought me my best friend. Um, it introduced me to someone that I cherish very much. Uh, it brought me the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Uh, so, shit, did I just lose the comment? Gabriel McGill, 14. You're guessing wrong. But anyway, I just wanted to share some of those comments with you because that was the funniest, like the absolute funniest string of comments that I had ever seen. I'm so super thankful for the opportunity to make a video like this. Now, would I have preferred... Would I have preferred my gaming channel to pop off? Sure, who doesn't? People want to make content based around what it is they're passionate about. And mine just happens to be video games. But I also was passionate about glow sticking and teaching people new, eccentric, exotic things, right? Something foreign that maybe they never thought they'd really enjoy. Uh, so getting the chance to expose so many people to glow sticking, despite, you know, all the people that are just like, duh, this doesn't get you a job. Like, do you people not have hobbies after you come home working your nine to fives? Even people with multiple jobs have to have something they find fun and relaxing, right? Man, <laughs> that, that's what triggered me the most is like, get a job. Boy, I have a job. Damn good job. A job that ain't going anywhere. Anyway, I hope you guys are progressing in whatever it is you're working on, be it your YouTube channels, your Twitch streams, your glow sticking, your footballing, your ice hockeying, your knitting, your crocheting, your crocheting, what the fuck? Your cat petting, whatever it is you're working on, whatever it is that drives you, whatever your hobbies, passions are, I hope you are progressing. Please in the comment section below, tell me what it is that you do for fun and what it is that you work on despite maybe being useless. Your hobby doesn't need to have a use. I already said it once. But yeah, leave in the comment section below what you guys do for fun, what it is you're working on. If you have social media links, please feel free to spam them down. Well, don't spam, but like share them in the comment section below. Um, I'll have an update video as to why I haven't posted a new video in some time coming up. But either way, I hope you guys stay awesome. Uh, don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And as always, I will catch you in the next video. High five! Whoops!